assignment 1 2 3 consider the below scenario of a retail store customer customer pay money uh, to the retail store and uh, chooses the items he wants he or she wants and receive the item receive purchase bill so customers retail store and purchase transaction analyze the scenario and identify the minimum three different objects out of the given objects we'll have to identify the objects uh, customer uh, customer name uh, uh, customer id these looks like a property attribute description bill amount all these price per unit look look like a property but if you look at this customer item and pay bill is a method or behavior imply these three looks like a looks like an object for each of the identified objects choose the appropriate class name attributes and methods from the list given below drag and drop it into the appropriate se uh, section of boxes add classes it has basically it has three classes the three objects which we identified were uh, customer was one item and employee so those three should be a class name all you need to simply drag and drag you take customer and it has properties like customer name attributes then another um, you can take um, item is a class name employee is another class name and we need to attribute read one by one uh, understand which might uh, suit which class so you can try like this you can have a customer employee item and add properties attributes and methods like this if you miss out something it will tell you what did you miss it says item is fine all the properties are you have see a tick mark but in the customer it says you missed something missing bill amount is missing in the customer uh, class so simply drag and drop it here purchase and pay bills are part of customers so i'll tell you all these three are right then you you're good to go you can proceed to the next section so assignment 3 says this implement the customer class customer class alone based on the identified class structure and details given below this is a customer class we need to work on this alone consider all instance variables and methods to be public so which are the methods customer has customer has methods like customer name bill amount purchase and pay bills look at the sign all looks plus which means all are public data members both the attributes as well as the methods behavior all are public data members so they say this consider all instance variable and methods to be public assume that bill amount is initialized with total bill amount of the customer customer is eligible for five percent discount on the bill amount Purchase the transaction which compute discounted bill amount and pay bill. Pay bills, pays bill amount, uh, we need to pass a parameter. It display like this, customer name pays, if customer name is Vetri, it is a Vetri pay, pays bill amount of rupees 1000. So we need to represent few customers, invoke, we need to invoke the method purchases and display the details. We need to do both. The logic is quite simple. Within a minute, we need to create customer underscore name, bill amount, attributes. We need to have a method payables and purchase. Payables need to take a parameter or amount, and uh, purchases is simply um, you know it takes the calculate uh, the discount. Then finally, it is this the it gives us a message saying this is the amount we need to I mean page bill is the one which is simply need to get the output display the output and purchase is the one which calculates that uh, discount and uh, final bill amount. So you can simply execute this. Two objects I have invoked and both. I have used a default value as Vetri and 1000. You may change the value if you wish. All the test cases and passes.